Hello, we're back. So, last time we fought the um, protector of the Zanuck and Cloister Trials and readily only one person got a level up. Which at this point is becoming like a... Okay, that's not a shock. Okay, we did get that. Okay, good. We are, though, going to be moving on into the rest of the dome, or whatever you want to call this. Just checking Stoof really quick, that's all. Okay. So this part of your t tabletop game, this is where we're going to start finding out, like, the big, big things. Like, the big plot reveal is going to start dropping. Starting with this. This isn't a faith. It's just an empty statue. That statue lost its power as a faith long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? You mean, there is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. The Summoner and the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the Lady awaits. Yuna, wait! It is. Aaron. You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Yes. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? Luna. There it is. If a, char going back. If a character like Orin exists in your party, let that be the solution Kimari they give. First. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. So we also realized that the final Aeon is, for lack of a better term, bunk. It doesn't exist. There isn't one. But what's worse is supposedly Unaleska has the answers. Yuna's namesake. So you gotta wonder how much of all this continues Orin's thought about this whole planet, I mean this whole world being a spiral of death. And you, you're probably saying to yourself, why is he leaving when we gotta go forward? Easy, my overdrives are depleted. We don't go along with our overdrives depleted. We're gonna go fix that. And also give me a warm up. Just, you know, having some lovely time. Do a little holy. Holy Yuna. Goes so fast and she can take them down. I need Waka because he's already got his. So we'll go to Orin. As you wish. So you're probably wondering, well, if there's no final Aeon, then what, what what is there? Your party's probably wondering that too. Like, if there is no like final uh, Mag MacGuffin that could save the day, well, then how are they gonna win? This is where the party's gonna start speculating, start communicating. Also, we can switch unit out because she got overdrive. <laughs> or we can just keep her and see if we can get, get her close to using the Slayer. Ah, uh, fuck it, just just do that thing. Let that revelation that, like, that thing they were seeking doesn't exist anymore. Let, let them sit with that. Because it gives them this time to realize, oh, we were relying on something and now we do we have a backup plan. 
and in a game like tabletop, backup plans are a necessity. Especially as you near the end game. You're eventually going to start encountering things that otherwise you got nothing for. And what are those? What is the answer going to be when that comes up? Formation, you know, swap with. Um, we'll go with Tears. Because again, we're just we're just doing overdrive hunting. That's fine. Warren, would you please armor break this fucker? I'm gonna switch oh, uh, Lulu from Kimari though. Just so we can wham bam bam it. Some lunar curtains. Alright, wham bam, thank you ma'am, let's go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's how it's done. Speed shit up. Armor break. Hit you, hit you. I think we said last time that uh, at this point we would be making the players... Uh, more or less level 15, level 16. Why did it work for Orm but not Kim whatever, I don't care. Just don't matter. Doesn't matter. It's fine. They'd be at level 15 or 16. Um And I know you probably saying something, but wouldn't they be higher up if we're getting closer to the, like the end? You would say that in most cases, but there is still more of the story to go and you Anyone who's played tabletop knows you could be at 90%. That does not mean put them at level 20. Level 20 is for before the big bad. So like, just, you know. Um, learn the, the pacing. If you do experience, that's something different, but still. Can you stop killing Orin? Love a god. Thank you. Nope, need one to get some experience too. That was so annoying. Let's go with the Riku for a minute. doing that damage. Sweet, sweet damage. Awesome. Ah, uh, what do we got? Ooh, some HP and defense. That's actually good. We could use that. Really actually good, good idea. Defense and MP. Um, yeah, no, that that makes sense given that some of Orin's abilities are gonna start costing him MP. Um, let's go this way. Give me that sweet, sweet magic defense. That'll work. Wait, what are they called? YKT. Okay. Ooh, damn. Jamari, almost doing nine, I mean, max damage. Holy water. Always making that joke. It's gonna be so nice when I can actually, like... Oh, wait, I just, I just realized... Mm, I just found it, so I forgot I could do this. I'll potions. 
How much health do you guys have? Shit, you have more than that. Okay. Well, let's. Kimari can heal Orin. Okay. It's time to heal you guys. Very good. Which Orin for Titus, because Orin's got his overdrive. All we're doing is hunting overdrive. We're not doing this for leveling. Leveling is just a bonus. Um. Yeah, I can get some lunar curtain curtains, I guess. Do it. Mug. I probably had a frag grenade I could have used. But we didn't. It's fine. Just keep whacking away. Playing a game of whack, look. Keep it over here. God damn, why is it just you guys? I want to fight the other stuff too. Oops, nope. Uh, nope. Skill. Remember, break. Keep dodging, weaving, Riku. Oh, shit. Phoenix down. Switch with Lulu. Dodge and weaving, kid. We have double cast, duh. That was ten grand right there, shit. Double cast, fire go. And fire go. Again, ten grand. Gotta respect double cast. And tabletop, I think. I, if I remember right, 5e does have an ability that's essentially double cast for Warlocks, I think. I forget. I'd have to look it up. But double cast is a great spell. Well, skill. I think all spellcasters should unlock it at a certain point. Not just Warlocks or whatever. Just, like, give all spellcasters a chance to do two spells per turn. At the cost of, like, you know the appropriate spell slots. It's just it's just a great idea. Hell yes. Bye bye. Titus, you already got yours, so yeah, you know what we'll do. Where? Didn't do as much as I thought I would. Damn. <laughs> I know it's because Riku's not that powerful powerful with magic. Thousand? And bye bye. So Lulu's good. I think. No, I want you to there. We are backtracking and I'm saving certain spheres for later, so I'm doing it by manual. So Riku needs two, four, six, auto life, come back around, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four quick pockets. We continue with, like, placing of, uh, powerful magic in Riku's skill tree. Really continues that illusion that she's meant to be a multi-class rogue mage. 
black or white, depending on how you want to. Or you could just do both mages and go for like just a mage. Um, I mean, caster rogue combo, which, if I remember right, in most circles a rogue would be multi-classing at some point, just because the benefits outweigh the costs. You got a frag grenade, you do. Swap you with Kamari, just because I don't want to lose you. Okay, Riku. Take one. Let Riku have it, it's because she needs the overdrive thing. Uh, nope, not cure. Nope. <sighs> Too many people have different overlapping skills. Gotta keep track of everything. Very good, very good. Use. Um, hold on, Soul Spring, no, that works. Miku, come on, you gotta, you gotta do some work. out. Very good. Awesome. You should only have one more kill, I think. Yeah, one more. Let's go with... You know what? Fire gem. That would be a little bit more damage. Guess not. Grenade doesn't do much. All you, Rico. Very good. Very good. Okay, now we can run back. Feel confident. Well, confident ish. I think we're going to go for the auto life first, just so that we can get access to it sooner. Versus, um. Oops. Turn that off so we can get back to the thing. Don't need to, like, keep fighting if we don't need to. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, also, because Xanarkin is so long, they gave us little uh, teleporty thingies that can take us to the dome. And the, it, it'll let you go all the way back to Gagazet. So you don't have to actually walk the whole way, because we can't fast shovel you. So we got everyone, we want to do formation. You know, we give it, why, why not, what, wait, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, it's just, oh, it's just oh, that's fine. We can, we, Yuna's got her overdrive, so Bahamut not having his is not a big deal. It's not the end of the world, because her overdrive gives him his overdrive. But we're fine. We are fine. Okay. That took us like 10, 15 minutes. It's fine. Oh. Thought I pushed X. On we go.
Lady Unaleska. Welcome to Zanarkand. I congratulate you, Summoner. I you promise have she's dressed. Your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> there must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner, for that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. Notice how she described those three bonds. Husband and wife, her and Zeon. Mother and child, Seymour and his mother. Between friends, Raska and Jekt. Supposedly, if the bond is strong enough, it will conquer sin. Those are three extremely powerful emotional bonds. But they none of them were able to conquer like the evil that is sin. Bullshit, I'm pressing X to doubt. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. This is where we start revealing things to the party. It is not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star Blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight Sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know. Don't do this, Jack. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me, I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Jack? What? You're not gonna try to stop me, too. Sorry. I mean... Thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh... Well, let's go. Lord Braska. Jacked. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. Yep. It comes back after the calm, every time. Mm -hmm. The cycle will continue and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You have a plan? Checked. Trust me, I'll think of something. <laughs> but this is where Oren's faith died. cycle 
went on. We'll break it. But how? What, you got a plan now? If one of us has to become a face, I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not going to happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. Lulu and Waka are demonstrating how hard it is to break the mindset of people who have grown up in a system where there's no alternative. It is this way or no way. Waka is also demonstrating binary thinking. This idea that to kill sin, there has to be a sacrifice. It's based on the idea of equivalent exchange where one to one is always the case. However, as we're seeing, it's not one to one. Because look how quickly everyone's saying, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, okay, if that is true, like everyone is so quick to do it, why don't they tell the truth? Yevin, tell the truth that to, de to defeat Sin and have the final Aeon, someone must be sacrificed. How much do you want to bet everyone would volunteer? We have seen up till this point, everyone wants Sin gone. And if they were all told a human must be sacrificed to make the final Aeon, we used to say that not everyone volunteers saying, can we all just sacrifice part of ourselves? Would that be obtaining such purity? The idea of sh everyone shouldering the pain of giving up a bit of themselves to end the cycle. No, we can't tell the truth about that because that's going to be a little too critical thinking. Because then also you have to ask, how much is the value of one life? Sin has taken so many, but supposedly taking two lives every couple of years will supposedly stop it. The math ain't math. Enough. This is where your party's going to start breaking down their long-held beliefs with what Titus is doing challenging that normalcy. We need to think of something. But I want everything. Now you're being childish. That's a 23-year-old. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I going to just stand here and let Yuna go. And what Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of something? Like father, like son. I'll go ask Yuna Leska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know, but I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it, or I'll end it here. Notice how Yuna's been silent till now. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? Good on her. It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do, I do with no regrets. Everyone is now realizing that Titus has a point even if he doesn't have the answer. And that's something that a lot of people have a hard time accepting. You can know something is wrong without having an alternative or an answer to fix it. Because that's the first step of fixing something is to admit there is a problem. You can't even admit the problem is there. You, you're never going to fix it. Also, for metaphors, remember, Oren is my age, 33, 35. I know, he doesn't look it. He looks a lot older. Tidus is 17, 19. Waka, Lulu are in their 20s. So, Riku, Yuna, Tidus are the teenagers. Or, uh, Waka, Titus, Riku, Yuna, teens. Waka, Lulu, 20s. Kimari and Orin in their 30s. Notice how they're reacting to all this, these revelations. Orin has a bit of resignation, but he is still optimistic because of Titus, Yuna, and Riku. 
Himari, he's just gonna follow Yuna. He is the ride or die. Waka and Lulu, the hardest to convince right there. But we have these three optimistic people who are being like, no, we're gonna fucking figure this out. Because they are sick of the people being sacrificed. Trippy as fuck setting. I love it, though. Space background. Wow, been loving it. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. The bomb. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is sin reborn. Spiral. So that's why Jack became sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never ending. Never ending? But, but if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? If, if the world was transparent, maybe. This, this cannot be. The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement. It's been our only hope all these years. There it is. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die because they had hope. You can use this theme of the antagonists manipulating the everyday people's hope in many ways. Faith, government, military. Like, there is a plethora of ways you can use hope to manipulate an entire population and that boiling point as we're seeing Orin and Tina's demonstrate is the party they're the ones who are taking that hope and running with it and to hell with anyone who tries to abuse their hope Even if it goes badly. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? It has to stop, though. It's a lie. That's not hope. That's manipulation. It is saying, um, honesty without kindness is brutality. Kindness without honesty is manipulation. We're looking at both. Sin is the brutal is the brutality. Unaleska is the manipulation. Or Yevon. The two are manipulating hope through kindness and honesty. You know. No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira and would have gladly died for them, but no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. That's no. it. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. No. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just covered up with lies. Never invoke Sorrow a player character's um it is meaningless to try my father i loved him 
So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. She's embodying a I Jewish philosophy called Tikkun Olam. I will conquer it. Called repairing the world. And I will do it without false hope. It is foolish to try to abolish sorrow. You would throw away hope. But we can repair as much of it as we can. Well, I will free you before you can drown. And that's what in a, your isn't that what a TTRPG party is? It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. So Unileska embodies um, that complacency. Now is the time to that is, we couldn't fix it, so no one pain. clearly can. This has or to be as best as we're going to get it. Sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Go for it. Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. Hey, at this point. You can always run. <laughs> I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? <sighs> My thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. Again, I just I love this fight because it embodies so much of the philosophy of the next generation needs the help of the previous ones to make progress. Waka and Lulu were ready just to throw away their lives before, but when Yuna said no, my father wanted to stop Sarah. He couldn't, I will. They're believing in her. Orin inspired them by making them build up their resolve. All of this is built up on this simple premise of this has to end. And if that means they're gonna be the like, you know, the bad guys, then so be it. They will fight the first summoner the source of all these traditions because it's like no you're wrong oh no you silenced me we can fix that Again, Unit you know, Lesko is one of my favorite bosses. Not only because of the, the, like, the boss battle itself, but because of the whole, like, everything surrounding her. She's a fascinating enemy. And she represents so many important things in an RPG. So yeah, that, that was her first form dead. Her second form is terrifyingly sketchy. Don't get me wrong, her, all her forms are cool, but like, holy shit. Okay. Holy water. What do you thousand? Grand summon. Bahamut. Boom. Take the witch out. It's also cool that she doesn't have any of her own summons. It's clear that she has lost her connection to the Aeons. Damn. Um. Leaving her just, it's just her in her current form. Which is so cool because it's like, oh, you were the original summoner? Yeah, the Aeons don't join you anymore. They're on Yuna's side. They are willing to fight and die with her versus you. 
All right, Bahamut, you did your best. You did a chunk of damage. I think that was like half her health. Which, pretty damn good if you ask me. Riku. Actually, hold on. Just need to see how much HP she has left. Okay, 28,000. Cool. Um, actually, go Kimari. No, no, I was right to... Mm. We'll go with Waka. I have, an I have an idea. It's weird, but it it'll make sense in a minute. Damn it. It's fine, she only has one part to hit, so it's whatever. You know, we can't petrify her, sadly. Okay, does Hellbiter. It's fine, it's fine. We don't need Yuna anymore, she already did her, she already did her part. Which though she can do a little bit more. Oh, wait, she's silent, fuck. Yeah, then never mind. Kimari. Go with... Hmm. Actually, what, what can we steal from her? Stamina tablet? Okay. Oh, I thank you. That was nice of you. How nice. Alright, now we can do this. Okay, Riku. Do that good old fashioned star and luna curtain. I know I gave him all that stuff, but we won't get Lulu a chance to fight too, just because, you know, she is part of the team. Double cast. Flare twice. That's 18,000 damage. Riku, you got your turn in, so let's bring back Titus really quick. Oh, pfft. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna be such an asshole. Remedy. Jamari, holy water the hell out of Yuna. It's fine. It would be a shame if I was to do this. Third form time. Third form is the fucking scariest. That's her true form. That is, I'm, I'm telling you, thousand years of like whatever the fuck Unileska is, that's what she became. Unfortunately, Megadeth is a possibility with her. And because they're zombified, she can do that. But it's fine because, guess what? Revive. Um, cast Mighty Guard, because I want Yuna to be safe. Switch back to Titus. She got an attack in. That's, I, I don't want to use her overdrive. 60,000. Perfect. You have haste. Protect, shell... Regen, haste. We should be fine.
Yuna is not going to tolerate this bullshit. She is going to wreck you. She's going to make the name Yuna mean something again. We got Kim Kimari is going to switch back to Orin. First, Tidus is definitely going to have to heal that. Switch to Orin. Orin definitely deserves a little bit of revenge for what she did to him. Holy Water Yuna. We are not losing our summoner for this bitch. Oh, she's immune. Oh well, whatever. I don't know if Delay Buster works on her. Nope, doesn't work. Oh well. Worth a shot. Mind Blast. This could actually be a problem. Uh, Orn's next, so remedy him. Yuna, do Ezuna. Get Titus back on board. Let's just replenish everything. Replenishes. We got a. Our holy water and again that lovingness. That's why I love auto med. It's such a good fucking ability. Okay, you know, show them how it's done. Kind of want to have you to finish her too. He's almost dead. Ooh, ah, uh, shit. Definitely a moment where I'm like, ah, so good. No, it's, Orn's gonna get his revenge. Because he deserves it. She took his friends from her, him. She, he gets the final blow. Orn, how do you want to do this? Suck it, Unaleska. Fun fact, um, it is very easy to get a TPK fighting her because of Mind Blast, and um, half of her abilities can cause Zombie. So it is always a non-0% chance you can get TPK'd even with the best party. If I die, so does the final Aeon. That's fine. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool, there is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy sin, you, Yevon, the immortal, would only create sin anew. What? You, Yevon? Ah, Zeon, forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. So now your party's like, wait, we thought this was the end. What, what are you talking about? This is where I know they just got level 15 before her. I would let them jump quickly to level 16. Or if you didn't level them at 15 during that kind of uh, guardian fight, this would be level 15. Either way, at this point, 
You have 25% of the game left. What we just did. Let's do something more unbelievable. Kill Sin. What? Destroy Sin. So it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet, but I'll find out. Everyone but Yuna leveled up. That's fucking bullshit. Again, the leveling in this game is just like, ow. I think we got level key, three key, key spheres. We didn't have any of those. We were definitely going to need some. So I bet you're asking, well, if it's only Sin left for a final boss, like, why do we need to be at level 15, 16 at this point? Easy. This would be that place in a game where a player, I mean, all the party can be like, we're going to go do a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of, um, what's it called? Like, not side quests, but I'm accounting for those at this point. I'm going on the assumption that if you guys, I mean, if a party sticks to the main story, this is where they'd go off and be like, okay, let's go do the, um, everything else now. Here yet? No, I have to leave. I think I have to leave and come back. Hold on. I think I have to watch something then. Yeah, okay, there we go. The illusion's gone because she left without Unaleska. The illusion fades. All that's left is the ruins. We must talk. What? There's something you should know. <sighs> I know. It's about you, right? Yep. I am also an unsent. You are not surprised. I don't mean to come off as this way, but if you couldn't put it together by now, this part is probably more shocking than the whole no final A on thing. The clues were there. Refuse to go to the fire plane. Seymour's coming out smelling in the scent of the fire plane. Um, when, what's it called? Um, Yuna tried sending. Um, let's see. Like, there were many times where Orin was very, I shouldn't be here. Also, how else would Orin get back and forth from Xanakin if he, unless he was set, unsent? You can say, well, what do you mean? Titus is a dream. Meaning, the living can't get to dream Xanarkin. Only the dead or the dreams of the faith can. So. Clues were there. I think I kind of knew. Plus the scene before. It was Unaleska, wasn't it? When Braska and Jekt died defeating Sin... I just couldn't accept it. Or should he have? I came back here, tried to avenge As them, he should have. But she struck me down. Which was wrong. Somehow I made my way, crawling down Mount Gagazette. But my strength left me, just outside Bevel. That's where Kamari found me. I told him about Yuna, just before I died. I've been wandering ever since. Remember when uh, Rin mentioned... That he was gone the next day from his uh, travel thing. That's why. Never going to the far plane. Aaron. Don't make that face. Being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And you've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Yep. Why? What's the big idea? Why me? It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. Very well, I will show you. Uh. My memories. Being dead does have disadvantages. Can I ask you one last favor? Uh... Nah, never mind. Out with it. Okay, listen good. Take care of my son. <sighs> my son in Xanarkand, he's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? 
Take care of him, will you? But how am I supposed to go to Xanarkand? <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. Uh, all right. I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your son. I'll guard him with my life. Thanks, Oren. You were always such a stiff. But that's what I liked about you. Your best friends. That is why. Oren did the ultimate sacrifice, and he did it gladly. Like, he didn't hesitate. And you gotta respect him for that. How the hell am I supposed to do it? What the hell? Ah, oh, here it is. Suncrest. Um, those we'll get to in a bit. Those are definitely going to be those like, hey, we're dedicating an episode to all that stuff. Um, yeah, so we have two, four, five. We're missing two more. Missing two more crests and seven sigils. Which is fine because the sigils are a pain in the ass to get anyway, so makes sense. Up, but up, up, but up. Now we leave. It's like, what else is there to do? You wonder, like, what else can be done? Fireflies have calmed. The whole place is just quiet. And you can't help but feel not lost, but somber, melancholy. That is. Until you see this. Summoning's gone, but I'll think of something. Just give me a little more time. You can tell that Jekt knows somehow. You know for a fact Sid and brother are just like, did, did that just happen? They are so freaking out. They won't show it, but you know damn well they're freaked out by all that. Sid, <laughs> how you doing? We the happy looking bunch. I mean Prana. Prana. Where? Where? That all you can say? Why don't you think of something? He's got a point. Well. Any good ideas? <laughs> Come on, help us. What do we know? Sin is jet. Thus you have a link, a bond with sin. That may be our key. So, what do we do? We think, and we wait. Two things I'm bad at. <laughs> right? In some moments, Oren does look like he's in his 30s. In other moments, like, this guy has to be way older. There's no way he's in his 30s.
the reunion long overdue. can't handle it. That's his niece. He cannot see her like that. Because she looks like her mother, his sister. Not even a word was spoken. There was that that was good storytelling. That's how you do good role play between a player and NPC. So we've unlocked the um, level three travel spheres, as well as fast travel. We'll take advantage of that in the next episode. But this is a good place to call it. Um, as I said, next time we will um, begin utilizing all the fast travel that the airship brings us as well as start working towards other things. We still have another Aeon to acquire. Well, two Aeons to, two or five, four, depending on how you look at it. Um, so we gotta do that. We also got to do a lot of other stuff, like ultimate weapons, all this stuff. We have plenty of do. As I said, we're only like 75% of the story in. So that being said, Stay tuned and uh, see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And if you didn't, well, hopefully I'll see you in the next one and you'll enjoy that one. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Bye-bye.